Salsa arrived here in the 40s and 50s and soon spread to Latin street parties and clubs all around the city, like this one at La Marqueta in Spanish Harlem. This is a spirit. Yes. This is a swag. An idea. And you're proud of it. We're in the heart of East Harlem. Ooh. We're in the bar, heart of El Barrio, Spanish Harlem. Yes, sir. Because this is a historic place. This is where a majority of Latin people came to New York City. Sure. The place where salsa and music live. For decades, people like DJ Agujita, a.k.a. Raymond Perez, have been keeping these salsa sounds alive. This is culture. This is tradition. This event, this area, this neighborhood, like I always say, this is not a place where you live, it's a place that lives in you. The people who have been here all of their lives, who migrated from Puerto Rico like my father did in 1937, these are people who are not going anywhere. And this is their outlet. This is their, These are people who walk in here in walkers and wheelchairs, and when the music starts, they're on their it's like feet. It's a miracle. It's a miracle. <laughs> It's like you look for Jesus. Is Jesus around? No, it's not Sasha, Jesus. It's Sasha. Sasha's around. Yeah. Sasha's around. So, the birth of Salsa. People think it's from Cuba or Puerto Rico. Where, how did it happen? El Son, which is from Cuba, yeah. is what Salsa is. Son is a genre of music and dance created in Cuba, heavily influenced by African rhythms and sounds. These rhythms became a touchstone for the Latino community when they began immigrating to the United States. Salsa is a big New York thing because when our parents came here in the 30s and the 40s, that's probably all they had. Music was intertwined in all our activities, in all our events. But what was the special flavor that New York brought to El Son that, that people call salsa. What happened in the 70s, you cannot yes. deny the fact that Fania Records, right. with Jerry Masucci and Johnny Pacheco, put New York salsa on the map, where these guys were traveling all over the world. Fania Records was the first label to promote New York-style salsa a version of salsa that embraced the synergy of various Latin cultures that called this city their home. It represented all the greats, Hector Lavoe, Willie Colon, and the queen herself, Celia Cruz. Through the years, salsa has made its way into American mainstream culture, from soundtracks and movies to TV and beyond. The unity that we have here, we, 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 we bring it to life every Saturday. And, and when you come to a place like this, when you come to El Barrio, Spanish Harlem, East Harlem, it's infectious. Yes. I, I love what you said, unity in the community. I mean, that should be a t-shirt, so, so well put. I was in there, and, and the joy, and everybody's smiling faces, and you can see these people getting so much out of this music. Oh, it's beautiful, beautiful. Yes, it's, it's all heartwarming. Yes. You're doing a it's great nice. deal. You're a great, great yeah, thing. Yeah, I love it. I wouldn't have it any other way. Que placer. So, 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 so